In this video, I'll show you how to draw a decagon. Let's start by drawing our first side and labeling it as side AB. For this example, I am using 40 millimeters. First, we need to extend our side length towards the right. Then place your compass on point B and adjust it to any measurement. We will need to draw an intersecting point on either side of point B using the same measurement. Label these intersecting points as point 1 and 2. We can then draw a perpendicular bisector between point 1 and 2. Place your compass on point 2 and adjust your compass to any measurement more than half the distance between point 1 and 2. And draw an arc above and below the line. Using the same measurement, do the same on point 1. Draw a line through these two intersecting points to complete the perpendicular bisector. Place your compass on point B and adjust it to point A. Project point A through the perpendicular bisector. Label this intersection as point 3. Next, we will draw a perpendicular bisector for side AB. Place your compass on point B and adjust it to more than half the length of side AB. Draw an arc above and below side AB. Using the same measurement, do the same on point A. Draw a line through the two intersecting points and label the intersection through side AB as the midpoint. Now place your compass on the midpoint and adjust it to point 3. Project point 3 through your extended line. Label the intersection as point 4. You can now place your compass on point A and adjust it to point 4. Project point 4 through the perpendicular bisector of side AB. Label this intersection as point 5. By placing your compass on point 5 and adjusting it to point A or B, we can now draw the circle required to draw our decagon. We will now use our side length and mark out our decagon on our circle as seen in the video. This is the same method used to draw a pentagon, but instead of using point 5 as our top point of a pentagon, we will use it as the midpoint for our decagon. We can label these intersecting points accordingly and join them together to complete our decagon. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.